Today, we're looking at a popular archery book, Total Archery by Kesik Lee. There are actually two books, the original Total Archery and Total Archery Inside the Archer. For context, Kesik Lee is a Korean coach who has been the head coach for South Korea, Australia, and is currently the coach for the United States archery team. He has done a lot of work in the field of coaching and is a very successful coach. Kesik Lee is known for reconceptualizing training and the shot process, known as the KSL Shot Cycle, which is currently the standard for coaching accreditation in the US under the National Training System. Both of his books examine the fundamentals of his system, placing emphasis on bar mechanics. Total Archery is the first of his two books on the topic, written mostly during his time in Australia. The topics covered in this book are broader, providing a good entry point into the training aspect of archery. The book opens with a snapshot of the champions that Kesik Lee has trained. Interestingly, the opening chapter focuses on the qualities of a good coach and provides an introspective discussion on how a good coach can facilitate good learning. As a teacher myself, I find the advice in this section resonates strongly with me, and coaches will understand the principles being outlined. The book's chapters then go through the steps in the KSL shot cycle, providing succinct descriptions and many visual references, many of which are annotated and explained for their faults. The balance between text and visuals make this a good resource for archers who are struggling to visualize how things are meant to be done. This photo, for example, demonstrates the face you should make when executing a bad shot. The book also contains KSL's shot cycle in diagram form, which is the core of his training system today. Subsequent sections discuss the biomechanics behind his training methods. He also includes a section on training routines and equipment tuning. The second book, Inside the Archer, is a much more detailed analysis of individual shooting technique. The back of the book contains some key quotes that I keep in the back of my mind today. In its simplest form, archery is a task of conquering demons. Even a bullseye can sometimes be a mistake. The structure of the book is similar, but is far more detailed in its technical analysis and covers the process of developing good form as an archer in a more comprehensive way. The tone of this book is more like Lee being the voice of a coach in your head, going through each step in meticulous detail so you can understand the theory as well as the practice. Both of these books are excellent reads. I was lucky enough to grab these books when I was very early in my archery career and reading this really enhanced the way I thought about archery. Not necessarily teaching me better techniques but opening my mind up to the more scientific ways of conceptualizing archery technique. A lot of people will learn archery instinctively. It's what you do naturally but there is an appeal to learning about the biomechanics behind archery, and that's what these books really are about. Now, as a disclaimer, uh, many of you will know that Kesik Lee's methods aren't universally accepted as the best methods. Um, this is what he's conceptualized as the most biomechanically efficient. Other coaches and archers will probably um, prefer some of their original methods, uh, they might prefer some more flexibility in individual shooters, whereas this tends to prefer a systematic approach to training. Um, I know previously when Kesik Lee first started coaching in the States, um, there was some opposition to his methods. Uh, nowadays, he's more popularly known for the uh, National uh, Training Archery System, NTAS, whatever it's called. Um, that's not used in Australia. Uh, I know in Australia, uh, while the seminars and courses are available, they don't qualify as official archery coaching accreditation. Uh, it's kind of encouraged for people who are curious about different methods, but it doesn't meet the standards for Australian coaching. Arguably, uh, whether it's better or not, I can't say, uh, but it is different to how many people are trained. 
Given, of course, that he has trained many champions, including Brady Ellison, um, uh, just just take it uh, at face value if you must. But either way, these are great reads. Whether you use them or not, or whether you adapt some parts to your archery technique, I think these books offer a great insight into the technique and training behind archery. I found that this book here is a bit easier to find. This one's a little harder. And really, you know, do you want both? Well, yeah, actually, both are really good books, but they're both focused on different things. Um, for someone who's just getting into archery and wants to bolster their archery knowledge, I recommend this one, the original Total Archery. It's a shorter book. It gets to the point faster. It's not really a manual, but it's more of a guidebook on archery technique, and it offers a lot of technique analysis. I think this is a good accessible read that's appropriate for people getting into the sport. This one, Inside the Archer, is a bit more advanced. There's a lot more detail, a lot more um, aspects and perspectives included, um, and this is probably more beneficial for the uh, intermediate to advanced archer. Now, neither of these books are meant to be read start to finish. As he says at the beginning, it's meant to be kind of like something you read as you go along. You kind of pick up one thing, you try to implement it, you try it out, and then you evaluate whether or not it works for you. So this isn't meant to be a comprehensive guide to becoming a good archer. It's an additional resource for you to help improve your own shooting. So if you've seen these books before, then you know what to expect. But if you haven't seen these and you're curious about whether or not they're worth buying, the answer is yes. These are definitely good resources. Again, you might not use them, but they're fantastic reads that offer a lot of insight. Um, and it's, it's something which you can definitely keep in your collection of resources. Additionally, they are some of the newer books out in the market. There are plenty of older books which go through a lot of detailed steps in archery, but these are some of the newer ones and it incorporates more modern approaches, modern findings, modern science. Um, and nonetheless, while some people disagree with the methods and techniques taught here, this is definitely one of the books which are worth checking out. Anyway, this is New Sensei. Hope this was helpful. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.